the question is a farmer sprays pesticide in his farm and a day later he is taken to the hospital by his family complaining of profuse salivation watery eyes repetitions involuntary urination and generalized edema what is the drug of choice okay so the key words in this are that you need to remember is pesticide number 1 that means he is using something that has uh, a chemical that is probably not healthy so he is got and now the symptom that he is giving is probably because of the toxicity or consumption of excessive of uh, chemical into the body the chemical which is the pesticide okay complaining of profuse salivation watery eyes repetitions involuntary urination so uh general and lastly generalized edema so if you can notice all of these symptoms that are there are some form of uh how do i put it all the uh, problems that are the, that the patient is presenting over here is probably due to the over activation of the nicotinic or the muscarinic receptors because in general when you have uh, the uh, cholinergic stimulation you will have normal urination that will occur or excessive urination that will occur then there is excessive lacrimation as well when you have the cholinergic system that is activated the saliva also there is excessive flow of saliva that means in general what we talking about is the patient has had some form of poison uh, some chemical that he has ingested and because of this chemical he is having activation of all the nicotinic and the muscarinic receptors now as we know organophosphor is a compound which is pre present in pesticides all organophosphorus compounds are present in pesticides these organophosphorus compounds are necessary for over stimulation of the nicotinic as well as the muscarinic receptors because they act as uh, excessive they help in excessive secretion of choline okay so when it comes to cholinergic toxicity we need to remember that you have certain signs and symptoms that the patient will present with so this is an important thing the easiest way to remember that muscarinic symptoms and the nicotinic symptoms is for muscarinic symptoms the uh, mnemonic is sludge okay so sludge stands for salivation lacrimation urination defecation gi this is the cramp preparation that we were talking about that is gi cramping and lastly msis when it comes to nicotinic symptoms the easiest mnemonic to remember it is monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday m t w t f okay so in that you have muscle cramps tachycardia weakness twitching and fasciculations so this is the easiest way to remember it coming to the symptoms like i you this is an easier image to remember all of this because it uh, helps you much hey, remember the uh, this image will help you remember the signs and symptoms of the patient much more easily so when you have a muscarinic neurotransmitter basically when you are having a, you are having a, an organ of phosphorus poisoning all of the symptoms that you are seeing over here will increase okay so your jogging so you will uh, have an ulcer or you will have diarrhea why because there is going to be excessive secretion of the acid in the stomach now the drug of choice when you are having uh, organ of phosphorus poisoning is the easiest is atropine atropine is the most preferred drug of choice it is it helps to counteract all the symptoms that are present in your muscarinic the organ of phosphorus poisoning or you have your cholinergic toxicity so when you have excessive cholinergic toxicity the best drugs that you can use is atropine because it is a it is an exact counter reactant to the drug it is competitive it is a competitive inhibitor it will go over there and it will occupy the receptors and it will uh, inhibit the action of the cholinergic system on the other hand when you have an atropine poisoning you will give the patient physostigmine or neostigmine because it will counteract all the so they are basically competitive inhibitors of each other now what is the dosage that you give so for atropine this is the recommended dosage okay when you when you have to because like i told you cholinergic symptoms you have excessive salivation 
so if you have to use it as an anti salivatory that means you want to do use it as an anti salivogog for adults you will give it as 0.5 to 1 mg whereas in organophosphoric poisoning because now the question over here is an organophosphorus poisoning patient in such cases you will give it you will give 2 to 3 mg to the patient and this 2 to 3 mg will be given after every 20 to 30 minutes and when you have to have when you have a cardiac arrest because of bradycardia in such situation you will give 1 mg and the 1 mg is you will give it for 3 to 5 minutes so what you will do is for uh, you will first administer 1 mg you will wait for 5 minutes and check the response if the patient is not responding you will give one more mg and then again you will uh, uh, monitor the response basically your patient should be able to monitor or should be able to respond well to the drug however the maximum you can give atropine to a patient because of bradycardia is going to be 3 mg you cannot ex exceed your dose more than 3 mg so in 15 minutes if the patient does not respond you are supposed to stop this drug completely within 10 to 15 minutes that is and anti as we are dentists one thing that you need to remember anti is going to be they may ask you the dosage and the dosage is 0.5 to 1 mg and you repeat it after every 1 to 2 hours now coming back to the question like we have discussed that this is an, an organophosphorus poisoning patient so the drug of choice of here is going to be atropine 